Happy Sunday, my film friends. Dave the Film Junkie here. Welcome to the Sunday Night Box Office Report. That's right. How was your uh, weekend? Did you go see Endgame again? I have a video coming after this that I'm going to talk about that more in depth. I'm still going to talk about it here, but we're going to talk about it a little more. If you're new to my Sunday box office report, I just basically give uh, the top five domestic earners, but obviously I'm going to talk about the international numbers because they're very, very important because it's just the, the, way, the way it's all going right now. So here we go, guys. Coming to number five in its fourth week, The Secret Life of Pets 2. And it made 130. Uh, whoa, no, it didn't. It made seven million dollars over the weekend, but total domestically, it's made 131.2 million dollars with an 80 million dollar budget. Total altogether internationally, 223 million dollars. So not too shabby for that sequel. Coming to number four, a movie that just uh, had big time fucking legs that I did not expect. I think a lot of people didn't. Aladdin. It made uh, $9.3 million over the weekend, bringing that domestic gross to $305.7, $183 million budget. Total, it's made $874.2 million. And apparently Will Smith has now been in like three different franchises where it's exceeded, I guess, $800 million. I don't know. I read something today. I should have probably reread it again and got in depth, but I, uh, I'm really bad at my job. So, uh, But I just know that Will Smith, yes... The guy is box office gold, maybe not all the time, but, you know, and then, of course, there's, eh, eh, well, whatever. Anyways, coming to number three, one of the newbies over the weekend, which I actually wanted to see and eventually will, yesterday, and it made $17 million over the weekend and had a $26 million budget. That's pretty big for a pretty, I mean, I guess not a small movie, but I mean, if you're going to get the rights to all that Beatles stuff, I mean, shit, all the songs, must have cost a shit ton, but... It made uh, $24.7 million worldwide, so it's still got some stuff to do, hopefully word of mouth. I mean, the critics were kind of iffy on it, uh, but I do want to just check it out just to, just to see what it's like. It's an interesting little concept. Coming to number two, uh, one of the newbies also, Annabelle Comes Home. That's right. I still got to put up my uh, film review which I recorded and I haven't put up yet, so look forward to that as well, but uh, it made 20 point four million dollars over the weekend bringing that domestic grand total to 31.2 and uh yeah that just shows you right there these movies and overall it's made 76.2 you cannot tell me this this movie wasn't made for more than eight million dollars this movie is already making its money back and then some this is already profitable this is already a success and it wasn't that good but it's already there this that's why the conjuring universe is killing it okay just 100 percent killing it and uh, then you got, uh, of course, number one, the reigning champ, Toy Story 4. It made $57.9 million over the weekend, bringing that domestic gross to $236.9 million. And overall, worldwide, it's almost at a half a billion dollars, but it's at 496.5. Man, crazy, crazy. And then we got to talk about Endgame. <laughs> yeah, Endgame and the re-release, um, yeah, it, uh, it barely, it didn't really do anything. It didn't help it. It didn't, uh, I know, like, it's it's a weird thing because it only, ah, geez, how much did it make? I had it right here, $5.5 .5 million in North America. Um, that's all I could see right here. So it didn't really give it a bump. It's not going to beat Avatar. I knew, everybody knew it wasn't. And I even think people actually knew it wasn't going to from the get-go. I thought it had a chance. And I said in every box office video that it has a chance, but it's just kept dipping, dipping, dipping. And I think one of the, well, I mean, one of the main reasons why Avatar can't be touched because it was such a cinematic experience, first off. And then it's just the word of mouth boosted it. It went up after that first week, okay? Every movie goes down, trends down, always drops nowadays. But with Avatar, it went up. And then even with the re-release, I mean... James Cameron actually put <clears throat> thought <clears throat> and effort <clears throat> into the re-release <laughs> with extended scenes. Uh, but I'll talk about that more in another video. But uh, Then we also got Spider-Man. Spider-Man Far From Home. Now it comes out for us this week. I'm going to see it tomorrow night. But it's already uh, at the foreign box office, China and whatnot. It's already made $111 million. And I'm just saying right now that this is probably going to be the first billion-dollar Spider-Man movie because 
it's just coming off of Endgame. Part of the re-release of Avengers Endgame was to help push this. 100%. I think that was the main thing. Not so much... I mean, I think Avatar, of course, that was part of it, regardless of what people say out there. But I think one of the biggest thing was one of the biggest things was the boost Spider-Man even more. And it's already at $111 million in just one little territory, so... We'll see what happens with that. Fourth of July weekend, it's gonna it's gonna get there. It's probably gonna be pretty big. So yeah, there you have it, guys. That's what's happened at the box office this weekend. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. Uh, what did you see over the weekend? and What you thought about it? Did you hopefully you didn't go see the the re-release? That's all I gotta say. Save your money. Hit that like some thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. This is thefilmjunkie.com for all my content. Follow me in the sock meds over there, and. Uh, yeah, Patreon if you want to help out and shirts and stickers down below, guys. All right, talk to you later.